This is the Euler-Lagrange equation. It's the equation that results by applying the principle of least action to a system described by a general Lagrangian, L. To make sense of it, consider the simplest case of a particle moving in one dimension with a Cartesian coordinate x. In that case, the Lagrangian is just the kinetic energy of the particle, minus its potential energy. And we can see what happens when we plug this Lagrangian into the Euler-Lagrange equation. Starting off with the left-hand side, x dot in this case just stands for the velocity of the particle, v. And so, when we take the derivative of L with respect to v, the only contribution comes from this first term, which gives us m times v. The derivative with respect to x, meanwhile, comes from the second term in the Lagrangian. It's minus the derivative of the potential energy, u prime. Finally, applying this last derivative with respect to time turns the particle's velocity into its acceleration leaving us with a much simpler looking equation than the one that we started with. And it's an equation that you've likely seen before, because the right-hand side is nothing but the force, F, due to the given potential. So even though it may look much fancier, the Euler-Lagrange equation is nothing but your old friend F equals ma, written in a new way that proves to be very powerful in more complicated problems.